starting introduction again because <laughs> so, I've revised it so many times. I can do it better this time. Okay, so uh, Feminist Friday. So the Reading Club is an independent student run organization. So we have four team members from our center. Now, the purpose of this Reading Club is one, two, Simplify feminist understanding, feminist concepts which we discuss in our own academic meetings so that they can reach those people who don't have the opportunity to study or the other thing, because we have the privilege of having this place and we also have the privilege to be with people who are from different centers and different disciplines and this is an interdisciplinary subject so we would like to have a space where we interdisciplinary conversations कर सके तो हर हफ्ते regional और global जो feminist readings हैं उन पे हम लोग एक discussion करते हैं तीसरा जो हमें which eventually develop the purpose is also कि यहाँ पर आके लोग अपने public speaking skills कुछ उनको share करना है कैसे बोलना है presentations कैसे करनी I think most of us will be making living out of it इसी से खाना कमाना इसी से होगा तो जितना अच्छा हम present करना सीख जाएंगे तो that is the purpose of having this place, this make it at the end of the session. So the session is divided into two parts. One is the summary, this make it every week there is a new speaker voluntarily taking up the high of them. I read it, but you have to go to the community team session for you can successful fingers crossed. This is a fourth session and our participation have been increasing. I'm really, really glad to see new faces or to hum look yeah. After the session of half an hour, so today Maaji will be presenting. She is a scholar from German studies. And she has last week a volunteer that she will be reading the book which is Why Were Women Enslaved by Barrier. It is a wonderful, wonderful read. And it can be that we don't have to read the whole book which is okay. We just expect that after coming here, we will try to take away some of the key lessons from the book. And whatever our common understanding is, we want to share it with our common understanding. So I think this is the best I could do in five ten minutes without wasting much of the time and respecting the speakers. I'll just hand it over to Manchi. We can have a session. Yeah. One more thing to do. She'll kill me for that. I need to take a consent for everyone. Is everybody comfortable with recording the session also? Because sometimes happen people asking that we are offline, नहीं आ पा रहे campus में तो हमको online access करना है। उसके लिए we just put it on the YouTube and so that people have wider reach। तो मकसद वही है and we'll keep it bilingual in the English में। तो is everybody okay with recording the session? You can just nod your head। Okay, ठीक है? Yeah, thank you. Please start with that. So basically I would start with the Peria's introduction because we all know about him but still I want to start to remember that great personality. So uh, this, the trans it is actually a translation uh, from the original uh, text uh, that was in Tamil and it was actually translated by Neena Sami as you all know her or two So she translated it when she was 17 and she just discussed it with me that she felt like we should know him because in Tamil we will have problems like people, person like us, we don't know Tamil so because Periyar used to write in Tamil, Malayalam, Tadipu and Tamil too so it is basically a translated essay collection by uh, Periyar and it is consisting of nine essays we are reading four essays today Love, Prostitution and two more so I will just start with uh, Periyar's uh, introduction so he is an Indian so, uh, social activist and politician who started the self-respect movement and the Vidyan uh, movement too. Okay, he was the Vidyan uh, Actually, I'm having this problem with translation of Tamil, so this pronunciation of that, I'm just having a little bit problem. So it is actually the Vidyan Kakhagan. That is a political party started with um, by the Periyar. And he also led a movement that was self-respect movement. As he always focused on self-respect, women's rights, and all together. Okay. So he rebelled against Brahminical dominancy, gender and caste inequality, 
and since 2021, Tamil Nadu started celebrating his birthday and you see as just social justice day in Tamil Nadu. So I just wanted to discuss, uh, tell you people that we are having this kind of day too. On 27 August 1879, uh, he was born in Tamil Nadu. He promoted the principle of rationalism, self-respect, women's uh, rights and education of uh, eradication of caste. So in these essays you will find all these points, uh, caste, uh, women's rights, self-respect and rationalism you are finding it little bit very easier but according to him he is having his own definition of all these things. Um, rationalism as he used to say if minorities start thinking about their positions and use of reasons to re realize that they are being expo exploited by the handful of people. So with rationalism, he used to say about the thinking and reasons and all. So I'm just describing it very in a very few words. And he then thinking about uh, talking about wisdom lies in the thinking. That is his uh, the self respect uh, self sorry self respect uh, point. He said ki. Uh, according to him, wisdom lies in the thinking, and that the spare head of the thinking is rationalism. Then he talk about women's rights, which we'll cover, going to cover in the rights of property. So I will start with this reading. The first essay is love. So I'm not reading the whole essay. That she said to me, he just read some paragraph. So I just highlighted some paragraphs. Um, so the translation is like. Element like Kandal, Kandal, Kandal is Tamil word of love in a woman and a uh, man and a woman relationship which signifies some, uh, something other than affection, desire and friendship. The world has, has attributed an extraordinary quality to the word love, ingrained it into the minds of the people and unnecessarily dim the purpose of men and women living together. Consequently, for the sake of love, people lead a troubled life lacking pleasure and satisfaction, we seek to uh, destroy this. But what is love? What is its power? How does it arise? How does long it remain? Under what circumstances does it arise? When does it disappear? What is the reason for such disappearance? If we deeply think over these topics, we will easily understand that love lacks substance, reality and certainness. And the person who blows it out of proportion is foolish by nature. So, just I'm reading this as an introduction, as he always questioned, and he explains something here too, uh, like he has given some examples. But before we think of these lines, we need to examine these questions, as he arose these questions. So if you guys have something over these questions, please, you can discuss after, the, after I finish the right reading. How is it being used in the world? What is the basis of this? And then come to the conclusion. Today, those who talk about the love say love is not affection, desire, or compassion. Affection, kindness, desire, passion, infatuation are different. Love is different. It is arises for a special purpose between a man and a woman and cannot be described directly. It arises naturally be between two people. There is nothing in this world equivalent to such love. It can be exclusively exist for a man towards woman or a vice versa. If such a man, uh, such a love arises between two people, it would be never changed at any point of the time for any reason. If love happens with somebody else at the latter period, it can't be love. It can only be prostitution. It will never become love. Moreover, because of this love, they have